All right, so Lay's has launched four new flavors of chips. They are labeling them the flavor icons. We're gonna check out the first one here. This is Gino's Steaks, Philly Cheesesteak. Cue the intro. What is up everyone? It is the endorsement and it is time for another review. This is where I try something and tell you if you should like it or not. I can be very persuasive. Four new flavors, all from Lay's. It's a nice little uh, tribute to some restaurant icons around the United States. So like I said, we are trying the Philly cheesesteak up first. Gino's Steaks. Let's check them out. Opened up nicely. You know how I like when that happens. Let's get you inside the bag. Check it out right there. All right, iconic. That is true. Gino's uh, Philly cheesesteaks. All right, definitely a uh, cheesy uh, scent right there. Check it out, there's one of the chips. All right, not wasting any time. This is the Philly cheesesteak Lay's attempt at rectifying a Gino's Philly cheesesteak. Let's go. All right, so I'm liking this one right off the bat. There's definitely a nice little cheese flavor. And if you look at the picture right there, looks like Gino's is one of these spots that does the cheese whiz. And uh, what's the one across the street from them? Pat's over there in Philadelphia. They battle each other out. I think they use the uh, slices of cheese. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. But again, one more look. Gino's steaks, got the whiz right there. These are good. Got a nice cheese flavor. There is that hint of like a meat flavor that a lot of these chips when they try to replicate a sandwich of some kind, uh, but it does work well with the meat flavor and the cheese. I do actually get a nice little vibe and I actually do think I'm actually getting a, a flavor of onions as well. I do like onions on my Philly cheesesteaks. Second bite. Yeah, this is a really solid chip from the folks over at Lay's. One more look, uh, Philly cheesesteak. There it is on the side. Um, I like it. Is it 100% replicating a Philly cheesesteak? Again, that is really hard to determine, especially you're getting the flavor of the potato in there. I mean, it's a chip trying to replicate a sandwich, so that is a daunting task whenever they try to do this. But that is a really good chip. The flavor is strong, the cheese and the meat flavor, and I think a little bit of onion. I enjoy those, so let's give it a rating. On a scale of one to 100, with one meaning don't even waste your money, and 100 being the promised land of I'm going to give the Philly cheese steaks, Gino steaks, a rating of 86. I am a fan of this. It falls a little bit short of the 90 barrier, uh, but I really do uh, fully endorse these. Stamp of approval. Like them. All right, that is it. Another video in the books. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, please do not forget to check me out on Instagram and Twitter. That is social media, getting the word of my channel out to the masses. In closing, I got three more of these to try. Next one up is going to be the Nashville Hot Chicken, and this is based out of a place in Nashville, Tennessee. You see it right there. Inspired by, stay tuned. All right, bonus footage, quick question. Uh, do you have a spot near you that isn't in Philly that makes a really good cheesesteak? Let me know because Philly, you know, they say they got the best ones out there. I'd like to hear from you. Do you have one that does it well? Jersey Mike's does it well. It's a chain, but uh, let me know in the comments below. Thanks.